Are you dreaming of a peaceful, fun, and fulfilling retirement? Well, Georgia just might be the perfect destination for you. Today, we're gonna to talk about the top 10 best places in Georgia to retire to. We're gonna talk about the cost of living, the housing options, recreation, conveniences, healthcare systems, anything I can think of that might be pertinent to someone looking to retire there. Stay tuned for some exciting insights. Make sure you check out the comment section. These videos normally get some great feedback from the local residents. They seem to have some really cool insider knowledge of what it's like to live in these areas. Make sure you watch to the end too. I don't want you to miss a community that just might be your next new home. So let's kick things off with St. Simons Island. St. Simons Island, part of the Golden Isles, offers a really serene coastal lifestyle. You are literally surrounded by natural beauty. For a beach town, the cost of living is really reasonable. The median home price right now in the spring of 2024 is right at $675,000. As far as housing is concerned, you'll find a nice mix of charming bungalows, modern condos, and some luxury homes as well. The island is known for its really cool events. You've got the annual RSM Classic Golf Tournament and the St. And the St. Simons Food and Spirits Festival, just to name a few. Outdoor enthusiasts will love the miles of hiking and biking trails. There's kayaking, boating, fishing, and lots of golf. You'll actually find a lot of historic sites too, like the historic Lighthouse Museum. It's easy to fill your days with strolling the beaches, bird watching, or kayaking. If you're needing access to an airport, you are in luck. So there's actually four airports to choose from. You can fly into Savannah Hilton Head International, McKinnon St. Simons Island Airport, Brunswick Golden Isles Airport, or the Jacksonville International Airport. If you're traveling by car, I-95 will get you there from the north or the south. Healthcare in the St. Simons area is top notch. It's operated by the Southeast Georgia Healthcare System. And even though you're on an island, you can find all your basic necessities really close by. As far as the major chain grocery stores, you've got Harris Teeter, Winn-Dixie, Publix, and a Super Walmart. You've got unique smaller independent market options as well. You've got the Pelican's Market, Uncle Don's Market, the Island Natural Market, just to name a few. Number two on our list is Avondale Estates. Avondale Estates is a suburb of Atlanta, but has a really small town quaint feel to it. It's known for its English Tudor style homes on beautiful tree-lined streets. You've got everything here from historic cottages to big modern homes. Right now, the median home price in Avondale Estates is right at 500,000. The area is also known for several senior style communities. You can pretty much choose your level of accommodations and services, just depending on what your needs are. Avondale Estates is known to be a pretty tight knit community, and there are lots of great annual events to choose from. There's arts festivals, farmers markets, music festivals, all kinds of things to do. For organized recreation, you can always go to the Avondale Swim and Tennis Club, and there's lots of parks and a few lakes to choose from as well. And you're literally right there for everything that Atlanta has to offer as far as the most advanced healthcare systems. Emory University and Emory Hospital is right there in the neighborhood. Number three is definitely one of my favorites, Peachtree City. If you haven't heard of Peachtree City before, it's known for its 100 miles of golf cart paths. Those paths connect everything in the community. So you can get from your, from your house to, to the recreation facilities, to uh, other neighborhoods, those cart paths connect everything. It's really fun to go to dinner in your golf cart as well. Peachtree City is really well planned for those who like to get out and do things. There's actually a facility called the Gathering Place where they have all types of organized events. The Gathering Place is actually partnered with Fayette Senior Services, so they have all kinds of things that cater to retirees and seniors. And there's a place called the Fred. It's the um, amphitheater that has 2,500 seats where they have outdoor concerts and different kinds of plays all the time and you've got lakes and parks galore. You can go from a park to a lake in your golf cart and then go to dinner. And there seems to be quite a variety of housing there. You've got lakeside homes, townhomes, some condos, just about something for everyone. And at the time of this video in the spring of 24, the median home price is right at about 550,000. The healthcare services there are offered by Piedmont Fayette Healthcare Services. And there are a lot of specialty clinics in the area as well. Did I mention the world-class tennis center and the championship golf courses? Peachtree City is pretty popular. Let's head up to the North Georgia mountains for number four, Blue Ridge. If you love the mountains, Blue Ridge is a beautiful choice. It's nestled in the Appalachian Mountains and it is known for scenic mountain views, 
hiking, fishing, biking, kayaking, you name it. If it can be done outside, you can do it in Blue Ridge. I almost forgot apple picking. And during the fall, Blue Ridge gets really crowded because everybody from Atlanta and neighboring areas comes in to some leaf looking. And it's really popular because it's, it's close to the city, so it's, it's a pay trip. And believe it or not, the cost of living is really reasonable, even the housing costs and the property taxes. And as you can imagine, as far as housing, you've got everything from small rustic cabins to large modern log homes. Blue Ridge is really known to be a friendly town. They've got some really cool events like Arts in the Park and the Blue Ridge Barbecue and Blues Festival. Lots of fun. And even living in the mountains, it's still convenient. You've got um, your major grocery store chains. You've got Food Lion, Ingalls, and a, and a couple of really cool markets like New Ground Market and New Hope Market. New Home Grocery. New Home Grocery. It's New Home Grocery. I said New Home Market. That's ridiculous. Did I mention there's a Walmart? And because the area is thriving economically, there are lots of opportunities for part-time work and even volunteer work. If you wanted to work, you don't have to work though. And all the healthcare facilities are managed by Fannin Healthcare System. Next on our list, number five is Athens, home of Georgia Bulldogs. Go dogs. So Athens is also known to be a vibrant, cultural, kind of quirky town. Can you say quirky? It's quirky. It's known for its arts and its music festivals and quaint shops and the downtown area is really kind of cool and eclectic. There's some really cool events like the Athens Twilight Criterium and the Athens Wine Fest. You'll actually find that a lot of the people from the suburbs, instead of going into Atlanta for dining and entertainment, they like to go to Athens. And because of our mild climate here, you know, it's, great, it's a great place to go hang out in the green sparks and even maybe on the University of Georgia campus. Places like the State Botanical Garden of Georgia and Sandy Creek Park to go to as well. I hate to admit it, but after over 20 years of living here in Georgia from Texas, I have never been to a UGA football game or even to the UGA campus. Am I the only one? I have, however, eaten some excellent fried chicken at Peaches Fine Foods. Housing is pretty diverse there. You've got some historic, quaint little bungalows and large modern homes and pretty much everything in between. And Athens is pretty affordable. The, right now, the median house price there in Athens is about 370,000. And there are some specific retirement community style neighborhoods as well. And there's quite a few options for healthcare. You've got the Athens Regional Hospital and St. Mary's. But please make sure you're checking out the comment section. Like I said earlier in the video, the locals who live in these areas, they love to leave that insider information in the comments and maybe even correct me when I pronounce something wrong or leave something out. And I always like to see questions there as well. I'll, I'll answer them directly when I can, but sometimes the locals answer them for me. It gets really interesting. And make sure you watch till the end. Like I say, I've got some great communities left and I don't want you to miss not one. And if any of these communities are sounding interesting to you, please reach out. Um, I'm a local realtor here and I help people move and relocate here all the time. Find all of my contact information there in the comments and the description of the video. In fact, I'll even include a link to my calendar so you can see when I'm available and you can schedule a time that we can have um, a video chat or a phone call, whatever works for you. Number six on our list is one of my favorite places and one of my husband's favorite places, Savannah. Savannah actually holds some really good memories for me. Back in 2013, I ran my first marathon there and qualified for my first Boston Marathon. So it's a real special place for me. And we actually travel from North Atlanta to Savannah, gosh, probably at least twice a year. We've been there several times for Thanksgiving. The city is so beautiful when it's decorated for the holidays. My husband would say, what's not to love about Savannah? Well, it's humid. Savannah is really a dream for anyone with time on their hands because to me, things just are happening a little slower there. I like to go there and just wander around through the historic squares and all the quaint shops and you know, all the restaurants are cool and the food is excellent in Savannah. And as for housing options, you've got everything. There are cool brownstone looking townhomes, historic homes, condos, you name it, you can find it there. 
And the median home price right now in the spring of 24 is right at about 365,000. So it's pretty affordable. There are so many cool events in Savannah as well, like the Savannah Arts Festival and the Savannah Film Festival. I don't know if you know this, but um, SCAD, Savannah College of Arts and Design, they put on a lot of cool stuff. Um, there's theater productions, concerts, you name it. There is so much to do in Savannah during the year. And if you just like to be outside, there is, you've got the riverboat tours. You can hang around and walk around for Scythe Park. You've got Tybee Island for beaches. Um, Savannah is really pedestrian friendly and bike friendly as well. And there's some really cool forts like Pulaski and Old Fort Jackson. They're really cool to go out there and explore and just spend an afternoon wandering around. And if you still need something to do, you can take one of the historic trolley tours through Savannah or a ghost tour or any number of tours. And Savannah has several great options for healthcare. There's the Memorial Health University Medical Center and St. Joseph's Candler. If you need convenient airport access, you've got the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport. And I predict you'll be spending a lot of time going back and forth there, picking up people who are coming to visit you. Number seven on my list is Marietta, Georgia. Marietta is the perfect combination of sweet Southern charm and modern amenities. Marietta has a strong sense of community and is really known for being really friendly. I love the Marietta Town Square, which serves as a hub for so many activities. Many of the neighborhoods in Marietta are really active in planning events that bring actually multiple neighborhoods together. It's also really beautiful. Some of my favorite events in Marietta are the Marietta Square Art Walk and the Marietta Greek Festival. Not to mention the local theaters and museums to visit. And with the 440, you've got lots to choose from as far as housing. You've got quaint historic homes, all the way up to large modern homes. And Wellstar Kennestone Hospital. Kennestone Hospital is the major healthcare provider and there are lots of specialists and small clinics to choose from as well. Number eight on the list is Roswell and is the first place that I ever lived when I moved to this area from Dallas. Roswell offers a really good blend of suburban tranquility and urban amenities. And because Roswell is another historic area, you've got historic style homes, modern neighborhoods, luxury condos. There's just about anything to choose from. Roswell is not the cheapest place to live with a median home price right now in the spring of 24, right at about 700,000. The city is known for different events like the Roswell Arts Festival and um, City Alive there that's held on Canton Street. One of my favorite things to do in Roswell is to hike along the river and to tour the historic homes like Bullock Hall and Naylor Hall. One place I've never been though is the Smith Plantation, but I hear it's beautiful. And the really cool thing is you can do all of that and still just run your daily errands like picking up your dry cleaning and your groceries because it's all right there together. One of the really cool things in Roswell is the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Center. So there's trails and that you can either hike, walk, or even mountain bike. And the Roswell Recreation Department offers all kinds of activities for everybody like kickball, baseball, tennis, pickleball, you name it, you can play it there in Roswell. Even gymnastics. Or you can just hang out on Canton Street or around the Roswell Square, just popping in and out of the cute shops and little restaurants. And North Fulton Hospital is the healthcare provider in that area. If any of these communities are sounding interesting or appealing to you, make sure you reach out. You can always call or text me. Like I said, all my contact info is in the description and in the contents. But we are at number nine, Decatur. Decatur is also another suburb of Atlanta and it is known for its friendly community and vibrant downtown. It's a place that really encourages arts and freedom of expression. Decatur, you'll find an abundance of bungalows and modern condos, and there's actually quite a few options as far as senior living style communities as well. And the city of Decatur hosts some really cool events like the Decatur Book Festival and the Decatur Craft Beer Festival. And for recreation, you've got the Decatur Square, multiple parks, unique shops and restaurants all around. Healthcare is easily accessible through the Emory Healthcare System and DeKalb Hospital. Next up is Gainesville, Georgia. I didn't realize this, but Gainesville is actually known as Queen City of the Mountains. I'm not sure why. Gainesville, also known as the Queen City of the Mountains, is really famous for being on Lake Lanier and having a low cost of living. Gainesville just might have it all. Gainesville, you could be on the lake, in the mountains, or in the city of Atlanta as quickly as you need to be. All the amenities are there. Shopping, dining, healthcare, you name it. 
You can choose whether you want to live in a lakefront home or in a suburban neighborhood. Right now, the median home price is, is hovering right at about $480,000. And the city hosts events like the Gainesville Spring Chicken Festival and the annual Mule Camp Festival. I've never been to either one of those. You probably didn't know this, but Gainesville has one of the best cardiac care units in the entire state of Georgia. Northeast Georgia Medical Center is where you'll find most of the healthcare services for that area. Any of these cities catching your eye? Anything sound interesting? In my opinion, Georgia has something to offer anybody, especially if you wanna be outside. I would really love to hear your opinions in the comments. Is there a place that you visited maybe that you don't agree with being a good place to retire? Have you lived in one of these places or living there now? I would love some more feedback. And if I can do anything for you, give you some more information, just reach out. I'm always a phone call or a text away. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm Teresa Fudge, local real estate agent with Keller Williams Realty Atlanta Partners, and I help people relocate here on. I have people that have lived here in this area for a long time that actually downsize and maybe they are choosing to move from a suburban neighborhood to the lake or up to the mountains or maybe down to one of the um, coastal areas of Georgia. We have so much to offer. So if I can help you with anything, just reach out. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.